What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, a.k.a. DFS Prodigy, coming to you live, breaking down this upcoming DraftKings 5 a.m. slate. Before we begin, hit like button for me. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's a ton of y'all know. Like I said, we're here breaking down this 5 game slate. I'm doing this on my phone, so bear with me once again. I'm at work. So let's go and knock this out with the first game in Chicago at Washington. On the Washington side, Kyle Kuzma is still out. So Porzingis at 8-5. It's a hefty price to pay, but I don't mind it. Uh, KCP is too score independent for me. I do like Denny at 5-1 still. Rui Hachimura. He's okay to me at 4-6, just the minutes for him that I like them still turning up. And if they do start Sadoransky once again at 4-1, I do like him. On the Chicago side, Lonzo Ball still out once again, obviously. But the rest of the team is healthy. DeRozan, 8-3 is okay. Zach Levine, 8-2. This is a good spot for all three in Vucevic, Levine, and DeRozan. Kobe White, 4-9, not playing enough minutes. 4-4 for Io. I think he's still seeing good minutes. I don't mind his fantasy production. Uh, Milwaukee at Philly. Giannis is probable i expect him to play so at 11 7 this is a bad matchup for him early on him chris middleton drew holiday no thank you to either one i'm not getting much of this field uh, much of this milwaukee team on the philly side though kind of a similar story james harden and joel are okay i much rather go to the other spin-up options though tobias harris 6-5 is too cheap i do like that tyrese max 6-4 i much rather just go up to tobias harris detroit at brooklyn on the detroit side kate cunningham 8-8 i like this spot for him it's just a hefty price to the pay sneak base 7,000. no thank you um, Isaiah Stewart, 5,000, not really a big fan of him. Not getting to much of this Detroit team. But on the Brooklyn side, KD and Kyrie are both playing. I'd much rather go to KD here than Kyrie. Bruce Bound, 5'8", not with the both, uh, not with Kyrie and KD playing. LaMarcus Aldridge, I still want to go to Andre Drummond. Um, I trust him more at the at his minutes at 5'5". Five five. But Lakers and Dallas, and Lakers side, LeBron is doubtful to play. So Russell Westbrook, 8'8", is going to be the main guy you want to get to. Malik Buck, 5'2". I do like him at that price tag. I do like Mel at 4'6". I like a lot of this Lakers team. THT could see more minutes at 4'1". And so could William and Gabriel. And a good matchup. But on the Dallas side, Luka is going to do all he can can. I love him here at this spot. Spencer Dimwitty, Jalen brought so much to go to Spencer Dimwitty personally. Reggie Bullock, 4'2". No, thank you. Um, let's go to the last game, though, in Utah at the Clippers. So Paul George is officially questionable. I'm not touching him, though, until he is fully healthy. I just do not want to, I don't trust that 9,000. Reggie Jackson, we could see him. His minutes get taken away a little bit at 7,000. Terrence Spence is kind of a similar story, but 5 4 for Zubak. I do like that of his price tag. And Robert Covington is still seeing a little bit of good minutes. I do like that at 4 4. On the Utah side, though, Rudy Gobert is questionable, and there's no Hassan Whiteside, so we need to keep that in mind. Um, Donovan Mitchell, 8 7. I love the spot for him and a low and a bounce back spot. Um, we could see Herman Gomez play more minutes if there's no Rudy Gobert. Or Am Royce O'Neal could see more minutes at 3-9. So I kind of wraps up this slate. Again, th sorry for doing this fast, you know, but I just want to knock this out while I'm at work. So I hope everybody's a great and safe rest of the night. Have a good one, everybody.